Deep down, we're all wannabe racing drivers, but how many of us actually know what we're doing? And more importantly, know what we're doing wrong? Well, Car Advice is here to help. Welcome to Racing Basics. This is Australian rally icon and global rallycross driver, Chris Atkinson. And this is the new 150 kilowatt Hyundai Elantra SR Turbo. Together, they're gonna shed some light on the do's and don'ts of racing. So Chris, you not only race cars, you teach people to race cars. What are the biggest mistakes that people make when they come to a track? <laughs> okay, what's that for? That's, that's the lesson. It's, it's about understanding the force, Dave, and how you use the energy on the road. If I push you gently, you won't fall back. But when I surprise you and shock you, you fall back. And it's the same with the tyre and the car on the road. So whether you're steering, braking, or even changing gears, understanding that force and how you use it is a critical part of driving. All right, well, jump in and you can show us how it's done. Starting with steering then, Chris, how does this relate to you pushing me over? Yeah, apart from being fun to try and push you over, it's actually really critical in terms of how you understand the force and the road with the tyre. You've only got a small contact patch, so what most people do wrong is they use the energy wrong. They force it too quickly and too hard, and that's basically overdriving, which is what you don't want to do. If you turn the wheel really quickly, the tyre can't keep up with the force. The same as when I pushed you gently, mm. you can control it, when I push you hard, you fell over. The tire's gonna do the same thing. Okay. So I'm gonna show you here in this corner. Cool, let's have a look. All right, here we go with the wrong way. I'm gonna turn in pretty aggressive and see how we go. Oh, a lot of understeer, and then we're trying to fight back, but still can't get back to the apex. So that's the wrong way to do it. What's the right way? So what we're trying to do is gently build up the energy into the car. So the initial part of the steering should be a bit smoother and warn the car what's gonna happen. Warn the tire, don't shock it. So we turn a little bit at the start. It's only subtle, but then you can force the tire a lot more because it knows what's gonna happen. Same when I pushed you gently, you could force back against me. It's the same with the car and the steering wheel. And when you do that correctly, you can go much faster around the corner. Here we go, trying to be nice and smooth. Try and walk the tight right line in fast at the limit of the grip, but just hold it there and then out of the corner up the hill. Much tighter, yeah. With the two runs overlaid, we can clearly see that doing things the right way is not only smarter, but also faster. Want to learn something extra? Check out caradvice.com for more racing basics.